One of the issues uh, we've been seeing more of as the population ages is, are uh, shareholders that have no immediate uh, family members or network of friends to help them uh, when they are no longer able to care for themselves. And that goes, that encompasses not only being able to manage financial affairs and paying maintenance, but simply taking care of the apartment. Um, and they have no one to turn to. It creates problems for the cooperative both from a financial standpoint and from a maintenance standpoint, of physical maintenance uh, of the building and the apartment. We have uh, one particular building uh, where in fact we had an elderly shareholder who was seen half-dressed at night in the hallways, in the lobby. Uh, she had a large apartment that was becoming impossible for her to maintain. Uh, was running up a large maintenance arrears bill uh, and clearly needed help and had no one to turn to. Her family had basically abandoned her uh, and the friends, uh, network of friends that she had 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 disappeared. Uh, and this particular co-op corporation, embodying really the true nature of what it means to be a cooperative, pitched in um, as best they could, brought meals, was very concerned about her well-being in addition to the co-op not getting its uh, maintenance. Um, and the board came to us um, and we devised a, a plan to help her and the building. Stu? The building was really hesitant to evict her and bring proceedings against her. Um, because they did have such fond feelings for her, but they understood their fiduciary duties and responsibilities to the co-op. And we explained to them that simply bringing an individual to court does not necessarily mean that you need to evict them. You can get them help by taking them into court. And what we did um, is as soon as we filed our petition, non-payment petition in court, because there was substantial maintenance that was owed, we moved for the appointment of a guardian ad litem. Now, most of the time in housing court, um, the guardian isn't appointed until it's close to eviction time, and the marshal shows up and determines that a guardian may be needed, or after several court appearances, and the court gets a feeling that a guardian may be needed. But by getting a guardian appointed right away, what we were able to do was a, get her um, help from a financial point, from a psychological point. We were able to get the co-op to have uh, maintenance paid immediately because they work with protective services for adult and got the cash flow going. And then most importantly for the shareholder, they basically worked out a plan for her psychological, emotional, and physical well-being. Uh, ultimately, the city had to move for appointment of a uh, Article 81 conservator, a guardian, and you know, she was eventually moved out of the building, but it was done in an orderly way. She had assistance, she had help. She was never um, under threat of eviction because the board made it very clear to us that they did not want her evicted, they wanted her help, and we were able to do that. If you did not take her to court, we would not have been able to get the guardian appointed, we would not have been able to get the payments made, and she would not have been able to get the help we needed. So while a lot of boards and individuals think that by going to court it's necessarily adversarial, you can often do a lot of good for everybody, and it doesn't have to be adversarial, and that's what we try to do um, whenever possible.